The city is beginning to prepare to officially implement the Map for Mobile program. The program targets certain neighborhoods within Mobile as areas that need to be revitalized. News 5's Allison Spann and Mayor Sandy Stinson took a look at one of those areas. Old Highway 90, it once served as a flourishing corridor through the city, but over the years, the area has declined. Air condition working in the back. Today, we rode along with Mayor Sandy Stimson and Mark White, an expert in planning and land use, as those familiar with this area pointed out key spots that need the most revitalization. Property values are greatly affected by the things that you're seeing on Highway 90. Driving through the area, you can see rundown shopping centers with vacant store space, the remains of what used to be a popular movie theater. Abandoned signs as well as the lack of general upkeep such as overgrown weeds and grass. But residents have a new vision for the area. I think the important thing is that we develop this area and, and give it uh, some pizzazz and just have it look so it has the pride of Mobile name on it. This is the first neighborhood of many the city plans to revamp, but first they must rewrite the zoning code the city currently has in place. Issues that we have that have stemmed from years of, um, of layer upon layer of zoning and ordinances that have created challenges in our uh, neighborhoods. The city has employed Mark White and his company to help the city in this process, and he says the Map for Mobile will act as their guide. One of the things we're doing is, first of all, building on Map for Mobile to refine the policies to decide what we do with places like this. There are different ways to redevelop each of the different areas, and this is just one example. And according to the mayor's office, the process of rewriting the city's zoning code as well as implementing other code and ordinance changes will take around two years, so we won't be seeing any developmental changes in the city for quite some time. For now, live in the studio, Allison Spann, News 5. Now.